Welcome to Computer Tech TV, everyone. Today I'll be doing a product review on the Nexus LXM8200 Silent CPU Cooler. Looking at the front of the box, you can see they list several specifications for the CPU cooler, as well as the name of the CPU cooler, and the Intel socket LGA775 which it fits. Looking at the side of the box, no information. The back of the box, there is a brief product overview in several different languages for you. And the other side, they give a long list of the specifications for the cooler and the fan, as well as a picture of what the front of the CPU cooler looks like. Let's open up the CPU cooler itself. you'll notice there is minimal packaging, just enough to keep the CPU safe in transit. As you can see there isn't too much that comes with this cooler, just the cooler itself and the plastic and some thermal paste. Now here's the CPU cooler itself. Here's the dimensions, 4.3 by 2.8 by 5.5 inches, including the fan. Fan specifications, it's actually a 100 millimeter propeller with a 92 millimeter case fan mount. And uh, I observed that the maximum speed is actually around 1500 RPM. And uh, it features two copper heat pipes, and they're very large at 8 millimeters in diameter. And if you look at the fins here, there's 59 densely packed fins, 19 are copper, and 40 are aluminum. So that will give good heat dissipation. Looking at the base here, it's an all copper base plate, and it uses a push pin mount for the socket 775 for Intel CPUs. And included, as you can see, is the high thermal conductivity compound, or thermal paste. Here's the stock cooler versus the LXM8200 temperature comparison. Here is the test system that we are using today. Uh, using RealTemp 3.0 and Orthos. And here's the specifications for the testing. And here's the results from the stock Intel Copper Core cooler and the results from the LXM8200 cooler. Pros of this cooler are it looks good, uh, quiet fan, good price, easy to install, and temperatures are lower than stock. Cons are it only fits 775 Intel bad finish on the base needs to be lapped uh, the thermal compounds lower end and it comes with no accessories uh, I'd like to thank Overclockers HQ for providing this and check out Nexus uh, website if you have any more questions and thanks for watching guys